Hello guys, this is Ahmad from Global Project Control YouTube channel. In this video, I want to talk about how you can use the stack histogram in the Primavera P6. If you go to the resource usage profile, you can draw your curve of the resources based on your setting. If you want to look at the how to use the resource usage profile completely please look at this video but if you want to look at the resources you can select your resource from the resource pool then on the right below pane you can see that we have the curve of the resources you can hold on the control or shift and select both of the resources concurrently. But we don't know in the month of July, the seventh month of project, how much the resources belongs to the resource one, how much this care belongs to the resource two. The stack histogram help you to draw the resources based on your requirement. You can right click, go to the stack histogram, then over here it show you nothing. If you right click again, go to the resource usage profile option, then you can add a filter. For instance, if I have Two group of worker civil works and the resource ID should be equal to the R-1. Be careful the name of your filter will be appear here and show you the name of your resource. So if you want to create the filter based on the resource ID, please select a good naming for that. If I add it, here is the first one. If I apply it now, you can see that here is the curve of the first resource. Then the second one, for instance, this one is electrical work. Then the resource ID is equal to the resource 2. Now I apply it. You can see that the resource 1 and resource 2 are appear here. You can change your priority very easily. And also, if you want to show these values based on that completion unit, you can choose this. For the cost, you can choose this one. If you want to select the financial period, you can select the this setting. If you want to use that completion unit, but without any cumulative curve, you should select this one. You have this option to select the individual curve for each of them. Then here is the curve of the electrical work. Here is the curve of the civil works. If you don't want to show the curve separately, you want to only draw one curve, you can select the total and then draw it draw you only one curve. On the graph, you have some sort of option. It is exactly like the graph of resource usage profile. Only please note that you need to select the proper filtering for these resources. If you have more than two resources on your project, you can create this tag for all of them. Name your filter properly because the filter will be appear as a resource name for you here. Now, if you want to back to the previous one, you should right click over here, disable the stack, and then you reach to this screen. 
over here we have the actual unit remaining unit in comparison with budget unit but over here we have the stack histogram based on the available resource assignment i hope this lesson was helpful for you thank you for watching global project control i hope this lesson was helpful to you please keep up to date on linkedin youtube instagram or facebook for more lessons you can also visit our website www.globalprojectcontrol.com to find all of our lessons and courses at once. Thank you for subscribing to the GPC YouTube channel.